An enemy of society was how a judge described Jared Steenson from the Falls Road area of Belfast when passing sentence 15 months ago. He was undoubtedly the most dangerous and sinister of terrorists, in the view of Mr Justice Carswell, who gave him six life sentences for the murders of five members of the security forces and a UDA man. He was also convicted of 61 other offences, having been implicated by Harry Kirkpatrick, his former associate. In the Mays prison, Gerard Steenson went on hunger strike in December 1985, along with Bobby Toole and Thomas Parr. At the time, relatives of the prisoners called on the then Minister for Foreign Affairs, Peter Barry, to intervene. One year later, the Court of Appeal in Belfast overturned the convictions, and the man who had been described as Dr. Death was released from jail. He is widely believed to have belonged to a group comprised of three INLA factions and which was responsible for the deaths of Thomas Parr and John O'Reilly at a hotel near Drogheda in January. They wanted to disband the present organisation. John O'Reilly's group claimed they were the only ones with the right to call themselves the INLA and have refused to disband. Following the double murder in January, the feud between the two sides has continued to claim victims. Early on Sunday morning, the anti-disbandment faction killed Gerard Steenson and Anthony McCarthy as they drove along Spring Hill Avenue in West Belfast, close to where Michael Kearney had been shot dead a month ago. They claimed Gerard Steenson had been behind the Drogheda killings. They also denied reports that a ceasefire had been agreed with the rival group, the so-called Army Council, to come into effect just ten minutes before the murder of Gerard Steenson took place. Both sides have said they will maintain their stance. So does this mean the feud is likely to continue? The public position is that the, the vendetta will continue and will, will go on. But obviously in the absence of such a, a skilled and formidable operator as Steenson, there has to be a rethink. Well, just how significant a, a man was he in, in his own right? Some people describe him as being in the top ten of um, Irish terrorists, so-called terrorists. He was certainly one of the most active Republican terrorists of the Troubles. Don't forget, although he was 29, he had been in prison for almost 10 years of his life. But during the times when he was out, he, was, he carried out at least seven murders that we know about, and he was convicted during the Kirkpatrick Supergrass trial of 61 other offences. He got off on those on appeal, which led to his reappearance on the streets, but nobody among his people or among the security forces doubt that he was guilty of those.